Welcome to today's anatomy session on the spleen, a high yield topic for medical students, US Emily and NEAT PG. In this video, we'll quickly go through location and anatomical features, external structure and visceral relations, blood supply, lymphatics and nerve supply, segmental anatomy, important clinical points like splenomegaly and CARES sign, Let's get started. The spleen. The spleen is the largest lymphoid organ in the body. Strictly speaking, a hemolymphoid organ. The main functions of the spleen are to filter blood by removing worn out RBCs and microbial agents from the circulation. To manufacture RBCs in fetal life, and lymphocytes after birth. To provide immunity to the body by producing immunoglobulin M. To store RBCs and release them in circulation when required. Location. The spleen is located in the left hypochondrium between the fundus of the stomach and the diaphragm behind the mid axillary line opposite the 9th, 10th, and 11th ribs. Size, shape, and color. The spleen is a wedge-shaped soft organ with purple color. The size of the spleen roughly corresponds to the fist of the subject. Measurements of the spleen are thickness, one inch, breadth, three inches, length, five inches, weight, seven ounces, external features. The spleen presents the following external features. Two ends, anterior and posterior. Three borders, superior, inferior, and intermediate. Two surfaces, diaphragmatic and visceral. Types of the spleen according to its shape is enlarged. Ends, the anterior end, lateral end, lower pole, is broad and is more like a border. It is directed downward, forward, and to the left. It is related to the left colic flexure in front. The posterior end, medial end, upper pole, is blunt and rounded. It is directed upward, backward, and medially towards the vertebral column. It is related to the upper pole of the left kidney. Borders. Superior border. The superior border is thin and convex. It separates the visceral surface gastric impression from the diaphragmatic surface. Inferior border. The inferior border separates the visceral surface renal impression from the diaphragmatic surface. It is rounded and corresponds to the lower border of the 11th rib. Intermediate order. The intermediate border is rounded and separates the gastric impression from the renal impression on the visceral surface. Surfaces. Diaphragmatic surface. The diaphragmatic surface is smooth, convex, and directed upward, backward, and to the left. Visceral surface. The visceral surface is concave and irregular. It presents four impressions gastric, renal, colic, and pancreatic. The gastric impression is produced by the fundus of the stomach. It is the largest impression and lies between the superior and intermediate borders. The hilum of spleen is located in the lower part of this impression. The renal impression is produced by the left kidney. 
and lies below and behind the gastric impression, between the intermediate and inferior borders. The colic impression is produced by the left colic flexure. It is triangular in shape and situated in front of the lateral end. The pancreatic impression, occasional, is produced by the tail of the pancreas. It is located between the hilum and the colic impression. Relations Peritoneal relations The spleen is completely enclosed in the peritoneum except at its hilum. From where two peritoneal folds extend, one to the stomach and one to the left kidney, called gastrosplenic and linearenal ligaments. Respectively, gastrosplenic ligament extends from the hilum of the spleen to the upper one-third of the greater curvature of the stomach. It contains short gastric vessels. Linearenal ligament extends from the hilum of the spleen to the anterior surface of the left kidney. It contains tail of the pancreas, splenic vessels, and pancreaticosplenic lymph nodes. Visceral relations. The visceral surface of the spleen is related to the following viscera. Fundus of the stomach, anterior surface of the left kidney, left colic flexure, tail of pancreas. These viscera produce impressions on this surface. The diaphragmatic surface of the spleen is related to the diaphragm, which separates it from the costophrenic recess of the pleura, lung, and 9 to 11 ribs. Arterial supply. The spleen is supplied by the splenic artery, the largest branch of the coliac trunk. It traverses through the linearenal ligament to reach near the hilum of the spleen, where it divides into five or more branches which enter the spleen through its hilum to supply it. The splenic artery is remarkably tortuous to allow movements of the spleen following distension of the stomach and movements of diaphragm without obstruction to the blood flow. Venous drainage. The venous blood from the spleen is drained by the splenic vein, which is formed at the hilum by the union of five or more tributaries, which emerge from the splenic substance. The splenic vein runs a straight course from left to right, behind the body of pancreas. Behind the neck of pancreas, it joins the superior mesenteric vein, to form the portal vein. Its tributaries are short gastric veins, left gastroepiploic vein, pancreatic veins, inferior mesenteric vein, lymphatic drainage. The splenic tissue proper has no lymphatics. The tissue fluid formed in the spleen freely enters the venous sinusoids. The splenic lymphatics are confined to its trabecular capsule and visceral peritoneum. They drain along the splenic vessels into the pancreatic lymph nodes. Nerve supply. The spleen is supplied by the sympathetic fibers derived from the coliac plexus. They supply blood vessels, vasomotor, and smooth muscle fibers present in the trabecula and capsule. Clinical anatomy, palpation of the spleen. The normal spleen is not palpable. However, it can be mapped out by percussion. When it is enlarged more than double of its size, it becomes palpable at the left costal margin during deep inspiration. Splenomegaly, 
the enlargement of the spleen, splenomegaly, occurs in numbers of diseases, the spleen may increase in size by as much as tenfold. Massive splenomegaly. The common causes of massive splenomegaly are malaria, cirrhosis of liver, chronic myeloid leukemia, and Kala Azar, rupture of spleen. Although well protected by 9th, 10th, and 11th ribs, that wraps up our quick review of the spleen from anatomy to clinical relevance. If you found this helpful for your neat PG, USM Lee, or medical school prep, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more high-yield content. Got a topic request? Drop it in the comments. Thanks for watching.